Have you seen the viral videos on YouTube and TikTok where celebrities on the red carpet have their video taken uh, with a huge robot arm and a big camera that comes right towards them? It's called the Glambot effect. And we have created an app that can do exactly that. It's called the Glambot app. Let's dive right into it. So this is the hardware you need. First of all, an iPad. I would recommend a powerful iPad. Then you need a USB-C hub with the USB, normal USB connector and an Ethernet connector. A USB-A to USB-C cable or an Ethernet cable if you use the Z-Cam here. And you can use either of these three cameras here uh, on your robot arm. This is the Canon R5. This is the Z-Cam E2 and this is the GoPro 10. The first thing that you do is to download the Glambot app on your iPad. And after that, go to glambot.app and you can purchase a subscription there. If you wanna test the app, you can do that without logging in. Uh, the only thing is that you will get a demo overlay, but the app is fully functional. Okay, so we're going to log in here because I do have an account with a subscription. So you can start by setting up everything yourself, which is great, but you can also use event presets. We've created event presets to load pre-made settings by other users or by us. And that will make your life a lot easier because you can select and see what the output is, the video is, and then load the preset and you will get exactly the same result. So the way you do that is you connect your camera first, you go to the menu icon in, in the lower left hand corner, and you tap on cameras, and I'm gonna take the GoPro here, I'm gonna turn on the GoPro, and I'm gonna swipe from top to bottom, swipe from right to left, tap on connections, Tap on connect device and GoPro quick app. And now on the iPad, I'm going to tap on empty slot under connect your GoPro and then tap on the GoPro. And now it says connect the cable to the GoPro first before tapping connect. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna connect the USB hub here and I'm going to connect the USB-A connector to one side and the USB-C to the other side. And now you can see that the GoPro says USB connected. And that's when you know that you're ready to go. So now I tap on connect, setting wired connection, and that's it. So you can change the name of the GoPro by tapping on it. You can change the settings by tapping on settings. You can change the frame rate as well, but I'm gonna leave it as it is for now. So let's go to the event presets. I'm going to tap on the menu icon. And then in the lower left-hand corner, you see an orange button that says presets gallery. And that will load the event presets. But if you wanna see not only the most popular presets, you can tap on view more on the website and that will take you to the website where you can find all the presets. So first of all, I'm going to select this setup type and then tap on robotic arm. This will give you all the robotic arm presets. Basically, those are the event presets with one camera and the multi-cam presets are the presets with three cameras or two. So I'm going to load a preset that's called the Moonlit Meditation. It's created by a Canon EOS R5, but it doesn't matter. It also works for other cameras. So I'm going to tap on the download button and download. And now I'm gonna tap on the download button in the browser and then press on the preset. It says, all good, your preset has been imported. 
Let's tap on load preset now. And because this is originally created with the DSLR, with the Canon, but we're going to use the GoPro now. I'm going to tap on load preset for any camera and it's loaded successfully. So now we go to the menu and I tap on clip composition and you can see right here, it's ready to go. First thing you need to look at is the record time. So what this app does, it records for a certain time, one clip. So in this case, it records for three seconds long and that clip can be used multiple times. So with clip number one, you can see that it uses the, the three second clip from zero to two seconds. So that's clip number one. And that clip is in slow motion. So you can see slow motion four times. The second clip is the same video, but now we only use it from one second to two seconds. We use it in fast motion, so it's sped up. And we use a boomerang, which basically flips the video. And the third clip, we use the same video from one to three seconds but this time in two times slow motion. Okay, and this will result in a video of 12 seconds. You can see the total duration right under that. So if you're happy with 12 seconds, then you go to the menu and you go to video effects. And as you can see, because we loaded an event preset, we already have video effects loaded in here you can see where the effects are applied on the timeline. So the colors are the effects. So if you want to change or remove an effect, you can do that by tapping on the drop down, and you can see the colors of the effects and the effects in the timeline. Those colors match. So for example, if you want to remove the bounce in the beginning, I can tap on the blue bounce and then press the X to remove the effect. Okay, and now you see it's removed. Now let's add another effect. You can do that by tapping on add new effect. And then let's see. Um, perhaps we can add some ghosting in the beginning. So tap on done. And it starts in the beginning, but you can move it around by using the slider, but I want it in the beginning, so I'm gonna leave it there. So the next step is to see if you like the proportions of the template. So we can go to the menu and tap on design. And right now you can see the video is like this. So it's, it's landscape, but you know, for example, I like landscape long. For example, so I tap on layout size and I'm going to select landscape long, which is full HD resolution and I'm tapping on done and you can see it's wider now. That's perfect. You can use our design library. If you tap on design library, you can load a lot of pre-made overlays that can be adjusted later on. We have tons of categories in here that you can choose from. Make sure you use that. We're not gonna use that today. The last thing that I want to show you is that you can also add audio. So I tap on the menu and I tap on audio and I enable choose an audio file. And it starts playing the audio file right away, but you can add a custom audio file as well but I'm going to use one of our pre-made audio files. So this is a good one. And I'm going to do a session. You can do that by pressing on the start button. And let's do a session now. So I'm gonna press on the button in the middle and this will trigger the GoPro. Three, two, one, there we go. That's it.
And there we have our video. So let's play our video. There's our ghosting, there's our RGB shift. Now we get our collage effects. You saw the boomerang sped up a little bit. And the last clip. And now you can delete, share, or go to the home screen. I'm going to go to the home screen now. You can also share after you finish the session. So you can do that by going to the in-app gallery icon here. And you're gonna tap on a file and you can share the video and delete the video. So now you've made these changes and you might wanna save those settings for later or you wanna share it with another device, for example. You can do that by going to the menu and go to event and save settings as a preset. So you enter a name, for example, birthday, Martin. Okay, and save the preset. That's it. Now when you tab load preset, you can see there's your saved event preset. You can delete it, you can share it with another device or share it on your computer, for example. And the other thing that you can do is you can save your preset and share it with the community. And we've created a special system for that. You can tap on share current preset with community and select one of the example videos to use. So I'm gonna use this video. Then you can see all your effects and your clips here. You can choose um, a name for it. I tapped on random name now, so it changed the name. I like this. Uh, so I'm gonna tap on confirm name. And now it's processing. There's the end result. Let's tap upload your preset. And now it's uploading. Okay, and let's have a look where it is now. I'm gonna tap on the menu icon and then I go to the presets gallery. And then I view more on the website. So I'm gonna tap on the info icon right under it. There's the video. I can download it to share it with my client and you can reuse this preset by pressing use preset. So let me download it and show you how it looks like. Tap on download and tap on the video. And there is your video. That's pretty amazing, isn't it?